Maddie and aka Freaking Bulldozer and welcome back to another vlog on my channel. So, um, last week you had a writing vlog, or next week you have a writing vlog. I'm not sure of the schedule, but I'm pretty sure last week you had a writing vlog and now you get a reading vlog. Yay! So, um, your first reading vlog of 2019 is... Reading the most popular book of 2019, also known as The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. This is my book clip book club. This is a book club pick of the month for uh, scratching the reading bug. Follow us on Instagram if you want to. Um, I try to post. I post multiple times a month. Um, so, yeah. So this is January's pick. Um, after this vlog, I'll have, I'll post the, um, I'll be I'll be posting the live chat. I don't know if it's on Instagram or YouTube yet. I still haven't decided because I don't know what the future holds. Anyway, so um, basically, I heard about this book in 2019, but I was watching Haley in Bookland because it's the 8th of January, and so I was watching her Bookmas videos in December, and um, she was talking about how in 2018 this book was really popular and how her new book came out in 2019, and that was one of her favorite books, but I didn't hear about this book in 2018. I heard about it in 2019, hence the reason why it's the most popular book of 2019 and not 2018 because we did that last year and I hated that book so I hope this book's better um I have a feeling that I already know the like the romance I don't know much about this book but Books and Lala did read it and like do a reading vlog on it and it's like I don't know I don't know but I don't know what it's about but I I think I know like the romance like the twist, like the plot twist for the romance or whatever. I think, I don't know. I'm, I haven't even started the book yet. But I'm just thinking that I know. So I'm kind of like worried that I already know the way the book ends and like the plot twist for it. So anyway, but yes, I'm just going to start reading and um, I might update you guys later, but I might not. So you're all just going to have to wait and see. self-made outlines I finished both of them today yeah I finished both of my deadlines for the week and I finished one for the month today is self-made not like a deadline deadline just self-made deadlines and so I finished those today and so it was um 8 30 and I came into my room and I was like well I don't need to write and I was like I don't really want to either so what should I do and I was like well I need to finish this book for the live show um which I still don't have a date for so I'm doing great, um, but I needed, I knew I needed to finish this book, and I was on page 33, or I was on chapter 4, I just started chapter 4, so whatever page that is, I'm pretty sure it's 33, um, and I wasn't, like, super into it, I was, like, intrigued, like, whenever I picked it up, I wasn't, like, ugh, contemporary, ugh, you know, realistic fiction, I was kind of, like, eh, realistic fiction, eh, contemporary, and I picked it up tonight, um, and I almost, I read almost 100 pages. I'm on page 120. I read, a, I, I read 90 pages, basically. I'm on chapter 19, and I just flew through this book. I am, I did not expect to love this book so much, because I'm really enjoying it. And I'm sorry if you can't hear me. My mom's asleep. I'm supposed to be asleep. I was supposed to stop reading at 10 o'clock, but... I didn't stop reading until 10.30 because I didn't want to put this book down because it's so good and I'm just so intrigued and I don't want to stop. <laughs> so I have a few things um, tabbed and they're purple which means they're quotes. I didn't plan on outlining this book. I had no attention on it but I found some quotes that I really liked and I wanted to tab them so I had them if I wanted to talk about them. But so okay I'm really enjoying this book. Um, like I said, it took me a little bit to get into, but tonight I just I just want to continue reading. I don't want to go to sleep or anything. But, you know, I got to the part, like, literally the last chapter ended with, um, Celia, you know, Evelyn finding out that Celia is, in fact, gay. Um, 
So, yeah, that figured out. And I, like, I wasn't like, oh my goodness. I'm like, oh, yeah, I was right. <sighs> hmm. It's been happening kind of a lot recently. I don't know. I have a problem. My mom doesn't like to watch TV with me because I don't shut my mouth. I just keep talking. I'm like, oh, that's going to happen or this is going to happen. And so when Books and Lala did her reading vlog on this and she was doing her like like why like she was talking about this book I skipped over but I remember the beginning and like through the entire book she was like she like said something about how Evelyn was like like her like it wasn't accepted in this time period or whatever like she wasn't like like who she loved or something wasn't accepted this time period something along those lines something along those lines she said that made me go oh she dated her the same gender I don't know when like Evelyn time thingy takes place. I don't know when this book is like taking place, but yeah. <laughs> and so I got that Celia was gay. I don't know if Evelyn and Celia date, but there's some really tense tension there. So I don't know. I have a feeling. I don't know though. But yes, I've definitely, 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 definitely thought that. And I'm enjoying the book a whole lot. I need to go finish eating up bed. I need to floss my teeth and mouthwash still. But um, I'm really enjoying this book. I really do want to put it down. I'm so thankful that I finished my outlines, um, my, my outlining for this month. So I don't have to work on that tomorrow. And I finish my chapter deadlines for this week because I get to read tomorrow. And I'm so excited. I haven't read like, I haven't, like, been really into reading for kind of a long time. I knew it. I told you guys last night that I told you that I came into this book predicting that Evelyn was gay and that she loved a girl because of what, like, Books and Lala said and just how, like, it wasn't appropriate, it wasn't allowed back then. So, like, I came into this knowing it. So, I'm not really surprised because I already knew it, but what can you do? Okay, so I just reached, wow, I just realized how echoey this room is, um, but I just reached chapter 22, and okay, so Evelyn's bi, not gay, so I didn't get the right term for LGBTQ+, but I did, like, predict that she was into girls before I started the book, and I was right, she is into Celia, she loves Celia, um, we all knew Dawn wasn't going to work out. She's got seven houses. That's what I was thinking one. Um, and so, I don't know. My thought of her marrying Harry just to be with Cecilia. Not Cecilia. Well, her name is Cecilia. But with Celia is coming more true the longer I read. So, I don't know. But I don't know. I'm enjoying the book. I kind of am. I really am. And I'm surprised. But. So. Um. Okay. So, I'm on part three. Part four, I'm on Gullible, there you go, Gullible Mick Revere. I didn't know how to say his name because I was reading it backwards. So I just reached that part, and, like, I was really mad at Monique for, like, telling Frankie that the biography or whatever. I was, like, really, really mad. I was, like, this is the part where I don't, I start to dislike Monique. I was, like, this is where it all goes downhill. But then I really liked what she did with Evelyn, and I like how she stood up for herself and how she got what she wanted. Um, like, she's, like, learning from Evelyn. I really like that. So, I was like, okay, you're, you're, like, kind of back to where you were. Like, you're here. Evelyn's here. You're here. Like, we're back to where you're supposed to be. I still have no idea why she chose her. I still can't even make a prediction on why Evelyn chose Monique. I don't know why. Um, I have a feeling that's because they're related in some way. I know she had a daughter. I think her daughter died, though. I don't know what age her daughter died, I don't remember, but I do know that she has a daughter. So um, maybe the daughter had a kid and um, they, her, uh, Monique's parents ended up adopting her but because she died when she had a kid. I don't know, but I think in some way Evelyn is related to Monique. I don't know what way, but I think they're related in some way because why else would she choose her? Okay, you're on my phone. It is 219. It's Saturday the day after Friday. Anyway, so you're on my phone, so please excuse the way this is. But okay. I'll come back to where you're charging. Oh my god. Okay. 
So, I'm on chapter 30 freaking five, two, two, three, and oh my goodness, the whole, I will hate her so much, I'll truly be afraid that I might kill her. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'm enjoying this book so much, and I don't know what to do, except read. That's probably the only thing I can do. And we're finally to Harry Cameron. I'm so excited. I just, I, I'm starting to dislike Evelyn just because of the whole intimacy scene. Okay, so I'm on page 267, and Ce Ce Celia. Celia. Celia and Evan, Ev, Evelyn. Oh my god. So Celia and Evelyn just broke up. It honestly, I don't feel as heartbroken as I should be. I don't know. They argue a lot. Um, or they've argued, they had like, I just pulled out my pop socket so I can hold you guys better. But they've argued twice. Um, like major arguments. And they basically, and I don't know. Celia kind of like slut shames Evelyn in like a way, you know, like she called her a whore once and, you know, she just points out things like she tries to hurt Evelyn, then Evelyn hurts her, um, which actually is a quote in this book. Um, and I'm just not a fan of it. I don't, I don't approve that. I don't agree with that. So I'm just not very heartbroken. I'm kind of glad they left. Like Evelyn hang out with your daughter Connor because yeah I need to know I need to know wait is Monique's dad the guy in the car like how did Monique's dad die I don't remember you know I might have not been on like a hundred percent track with the whole Cecilia and Evelyn but I mean Celia sorry and Evelyn but I did tear up a little bit in chapter 60. Anyway, I'm desperate to find out <laughs> why Evelyn chose Monique and why Monique wants to kill her. I need to know, so. I think I know what's coming. I think I know what's coming. I'm not okay. I haven't read it. Oh my god, I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. Okay, okay. I think I read it. I think I read it. Right. Oh my god, I was right. I was right. I was right. I got to feel. Was I supposed to be surprised? I think I was supposed to be surprised, but I was right, so, mm. um, um, I don't know. Hello. Why am I doing a British accent? I don't know, okay? It's really hot in my room. I tried to I tried to film a video that's going up in two weeks and it was a pain in my butt. It was so hard to film. Um anyway, what are what hmm? you're in like a formal setting. Not only because my camera's set up in a formal setting, but because I finished the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I got some tabs up in here. I don't want to talk about this book like uh, in like a ton because in two days not in two days. On this date, I'm doing a live show over on this YouTube channel um, on this book. But I finished this book last night. Um, by the way, it's the 19th. Um, so I finished it yesterday. My head was hurting so bad, but I finished it. And I really enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars. The only reason I didn't get five is because, A, I think I'm really lenient when it comes to five stars. Like, if I like really like a book, I'm like, yes. Five to you, five to you, five to you. I gave this book four stars because I wasn't surprised by anything in the plot, I guess. Because I was surprised by how much I enjoyed this book. Because I went into this book not with, not with high hopes. Like last year, I went into the, the 2018's most popular, most hyped book of 2018. I went into that book like with super high expectations. I was like, I'm gonna love this book. It's gonna be so fantastic. It's gonna be like a new favorite. I absolutely hated it. This book, I came in with low expectations. The simple reason I picked this book up was because it was like the most hyped book of 2019 that I saw. I Apparently people said it was 2018, but I did not see it or hear of it until 2019. So, yes. And um, I love this book. 
I don't like realistic fiction, but the fact that this book was so phenomenal blows me away. But yes, so this book follows a girl named Evelyn Hugo, well, follows a girl named Monique, and she got this interview, she got to interview Evelyn Hugo. And this is basically, like, there's like, f like, s under 10 chapters in Monique's point of view of her, like, at work. It's mostly all about Evelyn telling her life story. And you would not think that you would like this book because of the way it's written. Because Evelyn is, like, talking to the reader in this book. And it's so weird, but so good. So yes, I really like this book. I have a review up on Goodreads if I remember I'll the link down below. Super excited to talk about this book. I really enjoyed it. I'm actually kind of interested in um, Taylor Jenkins Reads' other book. I might pick up um, Daisy Jones and the Six if that's what it's called. I might. Not recently. Not right now. I have a lot of books that I gotta read. But I do. I mean, I am interested in other books by her. If you guys wanted to comment anything, I do have a comment section it's just not here on youtube if you, there's a link in the description box to a google form it shows it tells you like what it's for on the google form it also tells you like if you want to like comment like on a specific like thing if it is not like on one of the most recent you can't find them you can just comment it there i check on it every week i will check on all the comments if you guys want if you guys want a, if you comment something and you want it to be addressed leave a social like media tag in, at the end of it so I can find you if you want, if I wanted to t like tweet at you or something like that so yeah if you guys do want to comment there is a google form link down below in the comment section I will check I check it every single week so go check it out if you're interested so yes thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to Moving On because that's, I post videos every single Monday and with that I will see you guys all in next Monday's video and hey don't forget this I'm still a freaking bulldozer bye guys Cause you're just a ghost inside my head You're just a ghost, you're never there You're just a memory on my lips Cause you're just a ghost inside